Hello and welcome to this tutorial. It's focused on explaining how to obtain and start playing Pro Mode on the PC from the very, very basics of buying COD 4 and installing the game. So first off, once you've installed the game, you're going to be behind on a couple of patches, and these need to be downloaded manually. So the place I'd personally get them from is the likes of Game as Hell. It's probably one of the most trusted sites, at least for me, to download stuff like this. I'm pretty sure you can download the 1.6 patch straight away because I think it contains everything up to you know, up to patch 1.5 and it's like the biggest update and it contains the new maps they bought out at one point so after this you need to also download the 1.7 patch which is here i will be of course putting all of these links in the description so please do read them i get asked this so so many times like questions which are already answered like how can i download your config what's the music in the video what's your mouse i put all the answers in the description to every video guys so please do read them Anyway, once you've downloaded and installed the 1.7 patch, uh, you're pretty much sorted for that side of things. After this, you need to be updating your Punk Buster, because if you don't, you'll be getting kicked from servers when you go online, because you'll have like outdated files. You do this by typing in PB Setup, and then click the first link. And you come down and you click uh, for all Windows games. I don't think you can do any of these, but for all Windows games and put in the stupid code that they give you and then download it. Then once downloaded you start up the PB setup and you agree to all the random things and let it update or whatever. Then you will eventually come to this window which you then add press add game and go to your game you of course choose COD4 and the game path defaults straight to Steam. I don't have it from Steam so you have to if you're like me, then you need to browse and find your uh, COD4 installation folder and then press add game. Once doing this, you then just need to literally press check for updates. I haven't done this for a while, so maybe I even need to update, which I do. This might take some time depending on how many updates you are behind. Well, I can't be that many because I update pretty often. So once that's done, you're almost ready to start playing, but you're going to want to get yourself a config as well, because if you played on default, it would be quite terrible, to say the least. And you do have like quite a huge choice of configs you can download from. There is a couple of sites you can do this. I mean, one of them I know of is Clan Ion, which they have like configs for pretty much all the top COD 4 players. I'm pretty sure I'm on here somewhere. I don't know where. But another one you can download from is the likes of Gamers Configs, I think. Gamer, gamers Configs. I don't even know. Yeah, this. I mean, I have never used this site. I've never even really looked at it. I've just heard of it. But it seems to have pretty much all the top players' configs on here as well. I don't know how trusted it is, but it's up to you to decide that. So, once you do download the config, you need to know where to put it. So, once you... Uh, you have to go, once you've downloaded it, you go to your Activision folder, COD4 of course, and you should have a folder called Players. If you don't have this, the reason why you don't have this is because you have something called User Account Control turned on, which basically like every time you press up something it always asks you to allow it or something like that. If you do have a User Account Control turned on, you should have a button somewhere at the top bar here which says like show compatibility files and you basically just need to click that and the players folder should appear so once you do come into players folder you basically go into your profiles and then you just put your config that you've downloaded in the players folder I advise that you probably save the one you already have and just rename it to something like I have my player config and then my movie config with M after it and every time I just switch them around so you should save your config that you have just in case you don't like the one that you've downloaded so now that you've done that and got your config sorted, when you start the game it will say that your options have changed, you just have to press no. You can see what version you're on in the corner here, it should be 1.7. After that you really just want to be sorting out your options and controls. Some configs will be a little different, like I play on a higher resolution than most people it seems, so when they start my config if their screen isn't at least 22 inches big, then it will default their resolution to something really small. So basically you just got to optimise the graphical settings and make them suitable to your PC. You also want to be putting in your preferred controls that you're used to. 
For mouse sensitivity, it's better to get used to a certain sensitivity instead of sliding the bar. You can do this by typing forward slash sensitivity and then finding a number that suits you when playing in game. After this, you need to download. After this, you need to download ProMod from a server. First off, making sure that you filter servers correctly and select mods to all, or the ProMod servers won't show. Once you do download ProMod or any type of mod, it will be shown in the mods button in the main menu. Pretty obvious, really. I'll just look for a random pro mod server now. Mm, this one will do. Even though I already have about 1 million versions of pro mod already, I still have to download this version because for some reason they've named it as promod.tdm. So now once you're in the server, your game should work and you should see the difference of the config you have. You have options by pressing your quick chat key which you should have bound in your controls and then pressing the number 5 which gives you a number of options like light settings, texture filtering which makes the game look like Minecraft and then some other stuff like field of view. So really you just have to have a mess around with these options and see what you like the most. You can also make the game look more blurry which makes things look, well, more blurry and smoother or something. The command which should definitely be turned on in the config is r underscore draw decals 1. It basically removes the decals which are like dirt and pictures on the wall and graffiti and stuff like that. It makes everything look cleaner and gives a better visibility. So this should be on 0, not 1. After that I think you're pretty much ready to go and explore. You should have your FPS showing somewhere on the screen as well, like mine is in the bottom right above my lag meter, but it's capped at the moment because I'm recording with fraps. You want to be aiming for like at least 125 but 250 is definitely ideal. If you can't see your FPS anywhere on the screen and you want to be typing the command in console which is forward slash cg underscore draw FPS 1 and then you can max your FPS to 250 by typing forward slash com underscore max FPS 250. You of course aren't restricted to everything which the config you might have downloaded has. You can still edit all of its stuff. Most configs which you do download which will most likely have custom scoreboard colours and stuff. You can create your own for these. It's not too difficult and there is a site that explains it. To basically look at the ones you have already you need to go to your cod4 folder your profiles and inside your config you have to try and open it with wordpad if you open it with notepad it goes really weird so just open it with wordpad or word and then you need to find a command which looks like this these are what my scoreboard colors like look like which are black and green if you go on to google and then type in um, cod4 scoreboard colors then go on to bash and, bash and slash. It basically has a whole page which explains and gives the commands for you to create your own colours. I think there's also a program somewhere which helps you do it and gives you the commands already but I don't know exactly where that is. So yeah, basically you better check, check out if you want to uh, do your own scoreboard colours. Another site which you should be looking at if you are new to ProMod is Tech9. It's the uh, basically the main hub of COD4 ProMod. Uh, it's where pretty much all the ProMod players come on the forum. I've been on this site for four years now. I'm also admin in the site, so if you are interested in being part of the community, then this is definitely the place to be. It has all the lands coming up, tournaments, topics, all the news of new teams, and stuff like that. So yeah, I hope this helps and puts a couple of things straight and we can finally get some new people playing ProMod.